side for this one. I, don't know. I can feel you trembling <laughs> from. No! <laughs> Let's not go too far. Oh, I'm, I'm excited, but also he's sad. He's a legit superstar. Yeah, I'm, I'm sad, though, as well. I just want him to be here forever. <laughs> yeah. Apparently, it's only a one fight deal, but hey, you never know. You never know. We're talking about Brian out of battle, right? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Fighting out of the white corner, Brian Alabato, 28-year-old fighter from Buenos Aires, Argentina. He is 177 centimeters tall. This fight is taking place at 70 kilograms. Professional record, 49 fights, 36 wins, 13 losses. He has fought here at Thai Fight 4 twice. He was stopped by PPT. And he also lost a controversial decision against Pyax. And there you can see his opponent, the Jebuton, Jogichar Sohapaya, 25-year-old now from Nakhon Ratsasima province, 180 centimeters tall, 70 kilograms, with a professional record of 237 fights, 181 victories, 52 losses, and 4 draws. The former sports writer, sports writer is award winner of Thailand, fight of the year. He won alongside Sangmini. Long time ago, Aaron. It was around 2012. 2012 or 2013, I believe. He's had a really interesting career. He was known as a clinch fighter in his younger days. And then he went to train with Cam and worked on his boxing. Yeah, and, kill him. and he's basically become a knockout artist, which he wasn't known for at all when he was when he was younger and having his success in the stadium. Crazy to think he's only And he's only 25, and we're talking about different evolutions in his career. Oh, Sanchai, Petrushu, Sensatan. Now trains at his own gym, and I think uh, Rick Wada actually trains with him. That's a pri quite a phenomenal partnership. And, and then he went, he went from Ken, writer. I believe he was bought by the, the Banchamek gym. Boakao, mm. they had Superbon, Petrushanong, Boakao uh, himself, and they brought in Yopacha, but that was very... A very quick deal, and now he seems to be, I don't know if he's on his own, or... I know Chor Harpe has to the right name for, for this fight, at least. I don't know what's going on. Otherwise known but as But I'm Yobucha. excited to see Yobucha in the Yobucha tie fight ring. Yeah. And I'm just going to start screaming in the middle of this fight, please stay, come back. Current WBC Super Welterweight Champion, he won for back, back in 2019, I believe. I'm sure most of you are already familiar with Yobucha. You can yeah, wiki him if you're not, but if you don't know anything about this man, you are watching a superstar in the ring right now. An, ap an absolute superstar in the sport of And not only that, he has wrapped hands, not gloves. And we know about his punching power. Oh, beautiful body shot there from Yogi Shah. Cornering Ali Vato. I think his last fight was for the WBC Super World Weight Championship, and he defeated Satan Far. Something on gym. Sneaky elbow there. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, that was about 18 months ago, and I don't think he's fought since. So let's see if any of that ring rust has affected him. Ali Bao, in the meantime, has probably fought two or three times since then. He's looking good as well. He has. A very competent fighter. Oh, beautiful shot there from Yogichar. I barely saw that. Me neither. I'm going to have to see that again. It it looked like a pretty equal exchange, yeah, and then Alavato just on dropped. Yobucha moving oh, in. Cheeky little elbow there. Yeah, it was a right Face elbow. plants, Alavato again. Looking for that uppercut. Right oh, hand there right from Yobucha. Beautiful body shot. Alavato is wobbling all around the ring. The right, ha right elbow, sorry, from Yobucha. Kick to the back. He can't even locate his strikes because Alavato's all over the place. Oh, solid right hand. Yeah, that might be it. That was just below the ear. Looked like a right hand to the neck. Alavato gets up quickly, no count or anything. Interesting. You gotta give this guy a count, he's all over the place. Three knockdown will in effect, I believe. Three knockdowns and knockdowns. How many times that's has he gone down? <laughs> he's been down longer than he's been up. Oh, oh that's, that's gotta be it, it for yeah. sure. Alivato is tough, he doesn't want to stay down, but three knockdowns, a clinic by Yodwichar. The only thing I can say is I wish it would have lasted longer, Aaron. Just a real treat to see that man, Yodwacha, in the tie fight ring. 
Well, we can dream that he might come back, but let's see the damage that he inflicted on the Argentinian Alivato. Beautiful right elbow. Oh, there you go, left hook to the chin. Beautifully timed. Didn't Perfect even see time. it the first time it came in Bang, so fast. That. So fast. Perfect counter hook. Then that right shot that was just below the ear that got rid of the legs of Alivato. I think it just pushed him over. Down. I mean, he, he could barely stand up. That's the third right knockdown. chin, left to the temple, and that is all she wrote. What a spectacular performance, and totally unsurprising, to be honest. Yeah, we were Batman, expecting Yodlucha. it, and yeah. he delivered. Call him the mailman. Finally, I got something right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get clarification from our MCs at ringside. เป็นไงคุณดันนี่ฮะโค้ดมวยรุ่นใหม่สายมวยเดินมวยฮะดูมั้ยฮะอาร์มคัมคอร์เลยนะครับกับการน็อกเอาท์ในยกที่หนึ